Here I have question number 61. It states that the geometrical representation of a linear equation in a Cartesian plane is a circle, a point, two points, a straight line. So, when we talk about the geometrical representation of a linear equation, you know about plotting of a linear equation using the points lying on linear equation that forms a straight line. So, linear equation whenever plotted in a Cartesian plane always forms a straight line. So, the correct answer for this question is option 4. I hope it is clear to you. Now, let us discuss our next question. Now, let us solve question number 62. It states that if I have this given expression where on the right hand side you have x raised to the power a into y raised to the power b. Then the value of this expression x raised to the power a into y raised to the power b is where x and y are distinct prime numbers. So, you have these four options basically you need to obtain the value of this quantity on right hand side which will be obtained only when you solve the left hand side using laws of exponents. So, let us come to this expression on the left hand side. I have here x raised to the power minus 1 upon x cube. You know that when we have divide the same basis their power gets subtracted. So, this minus 1 can be brought in the denominator this will become 3 plus 1 4 that is you will be getting here x raised to the power 4. Here I have y raised to the power minus 2 in denominator. I bring it to numerator and I get here y square into y square which gives me y raised to the power 4. So, this will basically reduce to y raised to the power 4 upon x raised to the power 4 whole raised to the power 1 upon 4 divided by this expression. Now, coming to this one here I have x raised to the power 6 in the denominator x raised to the power minus 2. When this will be brought to numerator it will become x raised to the power 6 plus 2 8. So, I get here x raised to the power 8. In the numerator I have y raised to the power minus 3 it could be brought to the denominator and it will become y raised to the power 3 plus 3 that is 6 whole raised to the power 1 by 2. This is equal to x raised to the power a into y raised to the power b. Next you need to simplify it further on the left hand side you can see I have y raised to the power 4 upon x raised to the power 4 and whole raised to the power 1 by 4 where the power gets equally distributed on these two resulting here y upon x divided by in this case I have x raised to the power 8 upon y raised to the power 6 whole raised to the power half where power gets equally distributed here resulting x raised to the power 4 upon y cube and on the right hand side I have x raised to the power a into y raised to the power b. Let us simplify it further I get here y upon x into y cube upon x raised to the power 4 this is equal to x raised to the power a y raised to the power b. So, on simplification you finally get x raised to the power a into y raised to the power b has the value equal to y raised to the power 4 upon x raised to the power 5. So, this is the required answer for this question and when you observe all the options provided here you need here y raised to the power 4 upon x raised to the power 5 which is present here in option number 2. So, you can definitely state that option number 2 is the correct answer for this question. So, you can mark the answer as option 2. I hope this question is clear to you. Let us take up our next question. Here this question states if the linear equation x plus y equal to 8 meets a line which is parallel to the y axis at a distance 3 units from the origin and in positive direction of x axis then the point where both lines meet is out of these four options. So, let us solve this here we are talking about this line x plus y equal to 8 and when you talk about plotting this line you have this Cartesian plane and on the Cartesian plane there lies this line x plus y equal to 8 and we are talking about another line which is parallel to the y axis. So, this line is parallel to the y axis and this is your x axis x x dash this is y axis y y dash this is your line x plus y equal to 8. It has been clearly mentioned in this question that this line meets this line parallel to y axis at 3 units from the origin. That means in this case if I consider x and y coordinate 
here x coordinate will be definitely 3. It is at the distance of 3 units from the origin. So, if x is 3, what will be the possible value of y? So, 3 plus y is equal to 8 because on this line I have the equation as x plus y equal to 8. This gives me the value of y equal to 5. So, this point will definitely have the coordinate equal to 3 comma 5. So, this point is having the coordinate 3 comma 5. I could say that these both lines meet at the point having coordinate 3 comma 5 which is present here in option number 1. So, the correct answer for this question is option 1. I hope it is clear to you. Let us take up our next question.